The last function for COCA that I want to look at is the chart function. Earlier we saw how you could compare a word or a phrase in the different sections of COCA, such as academic writing versus the spoken part of the corpus. Chart does something similar where we can enter a word or a phrase and we can see immediately across all the different um, registers or sections of COCA how frequent that word or phrase is. So let's try with the word experiment and we have our sort limit open here. We want to sort by mutual information again and we'll look at three's nice. We're only using one word so this side isn't necessary, just that side. And we'll put C frequency by section and see what we get with the word experiment. There we go. So we can see the word experiment happens um, in all the different sections of COCA and our little histogram, our little bars, bar graph over here tells us how frequent it is. And just at a glance, we can see that um, the word experiment is most frequent in academic. And we can click on that and get some more um, information of the different subsections of academic and how frequent that word is. So that's one thing that um, you can have your students do is when they look at a word or a phrase, it's always important to know what register um, that word or, phrase is, word or phrase is used. So that could be an activity where if your students have a word or a phrase, you, the first step is to see, okay, what register is this word or phrase typically used in or where is it most commonly used? And then from there, you can search for different collocates um, and, and then beyond looking at how words compare with each other or patterns in the quick lines and then to the list function to look at the wider context and just see um, exact strings of words. So there's a lot that can be done in COCA. One last thing that I want to stress is, yes, you can have your students interact directly with COCA, but also as a teacher, you can use COCA to help you prepare materials. If you want your students to look at how big and large are used, you don't have to let them go directly to the corpus. You as the teacher can use the corpus to help inform materials that you make. And a lot of times that's better for students as just letting them loose directly into the corpus might be overwhelming if they're not trained well. So I encourage you to use um, COCA. It has a lot of potential and a lot of power. Your students can interact, interact um, directly with the interface or you can use COCA to help inform your own teaching materials that you make.